a simple masking idea. You know, and a mask is basically an object that's above text, typically, or something. And when we track mat it and use it, um, the text will only appear when it's underneath it. Okay? So now we're going to do that idea, but we're going to have a little bit more uh, oomph to it. So I call this advanced masking. I don't know if it is or not, but here we go. So I'm going to make a new composition. Again, a composition is just a timeline for us. Composition new. And again, HDTV 1080, 29.97. If you choose this, hopefully, I think by default, it'll keep choosing it for you. So, and I'm going to call this adva ah, advanced line mask. And you'll see what I mean. Okay, something like that. And it's going to be uh, five seconds. Let's make this 10. So notice it's. Uh, Zero, and then dot, uh, zero, zero, you know, dot, ten, zero, zero. Okay? And we can change this at any time. And then we're going to make a solid background, so I don't even worry about the background color. We're going to actually make a layer of solid color. Okay, so here it is right here. The first thing we're going to do is... Um, we don't have any layers, so the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to layer click on layer and say new uh, solid and I'm gonna make it you know some some color here aha Woo, so it made a whole solid color all right and that's gonna be the bottom layer Woo, that's bright okay and then what we're gonna do is I'm going to type out some text so all I'm gonna do is click away click away from that solid layer and just grab my text tool here and click and say um, reveal and then grab my selection tool and move this kind of in the middle oh I got it I got it cap locks on I had to, when you have cap locks on, which I did because I cap locked all the, the, the text. All right, so I have that, the word reveal. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, that's done. Now I'm going to make a rectangle. And I'm going to grab my rectangle tool like we did before. I don't want to make it the same as the background color, so I'm going to make it some, you know, color that I can definitely see it and then I want to make a bigger rectangle <laughs> excuse me than what I need so let me see here that'll do and then um, I'm gonna grab my selection tool I'm going to move it down a little bit just to move it so it's kind of in the middle. It doesn't really matter too much. But again, that's going to be our mask. Now here's the thing. We're going to do something a little extra. We're going to make a stroke line, a thin horizontal line, and we're going to parent the movement of this rectangle with the line. So all you'll see is the little line coming up, and wherever the line is over the text, the text will appear. You'll, you'll see what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click away. Notice if I, it, it's my background's highlighted here. If I click off of it in the gray area, it kind of deactivates it. I'm going to grab um, my pen tool and blah, 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 blah. where are you? Um. There it is, sorry. I, I was just missing it. So I'm going to grab my pen tool, and I don't need a fill. See how the fill is? I want to click on the word fill and say non or no, none. It's that first thing, that white square with a red perpendicular line through it. Okay, 
but I am going to click on my stroke and move it to the second one, which is a solid color. And then um, let's go with, I'm going to change the pixels before I do anything. And then all I want to do is I want to, uh, above my rectangle, I want to click it there. I'm going to hold the shift key down. I don't know if I have to do this, but I want to make a straight line. Okay. And there's my, there's my straight line. Now I held the shift key down, so it should only make a straight line. That's all it can do, either vertically or horizontally. Now I'm going to grab my selection tool and move my, move my stroke down. And let me, uh, let me do this. I'm going to grab my rectangle and move it below. like that. And then I'm going to move my, I'm going to see if I can grab my stroke. Oop, sorry. Remember control Z or command Z is your friend. So I'm going to put this so it's right at the top there. Okay. And then I'm going to parent. Now let me let me rename these these different shape layers. The top one we have is the line. See how it's highlighted when I click it? I want to rename it by pressing the return or enter key and call it line. And then the one shape layer be below it, I'm going to I'm going to rename it by hitting, hitting the return or enter key and call it um, mask. Okay? And then one more thing we're going to do is I'm going to uh, what's called parent this mask layer to the line layer. So basically whatever I do with the line layer, the mask layer is going to do too. So when the line layer moves and animates up and down, the mask is going to go with it. Okay? Let me do one thing though. Let me click on the mask layer and go uh, layer, transform, uh, center anchor point. Okay? And I'll do the same thing with the line. Because see how here's the access point right here? I'll go layer, transform, center anchor point. See how it moves it down? So now it's in the middle of the line. Okay. All right. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to I'm going to parent the mask with the line. So I'm going to click on the mask and see. Again, you have different toggles. I want the one that says parent and link. I guess they both say it. <laughs> okay. It it wasn't was wasn't the case, but I'll I'll go with this one. And I'm going to go. Um, so the mask is going to be parented by the line. Okay. So now, let's see if I can do this manually. See how the mask is pulling, is staying with the line? Aha! Yes, magic, I know, I know. All right, so that's great. So now what we're gonna do is, um, we have the text, we have a solid green, weird green background, we have a mask, and the mask is being parented, parented by the line. So whatever the line is doing, the mask is going to do too. All right. Now we don't have the mask as a mask for the text yet. Okay. So I can do that. I'm going to click on the text. And again, you want the switch that says track mat here. And on the text, you're going to say alpha mat mask. Let's see how the reveal text doesn't show up. And then if I click on the line, and again, the, the mask is doing whatever the line is doing. See how it's revealed? Aha! I know. I know. Okay, so um, now all I have to do is, to finish that, this up, I'm going to create some animation 
on the position of the line. So I'm clicking on the line layer and I'm pressing P. And when I press P for position, it says position it has a little clock uh, stopwatch that way I can set keyframes. And then it has the X and the Y value here. Okay? So I'm going to set this, I make sure my, my uh, scrubber is at the front, at the, at the end, where my, zero, zero. I'm going to set the clock stop, stopwatch to start a position keyframe. It sets, it sets the first one. I can move it down. And then again, this is X and Y. I want to move the Y. So I want to go up. And maybe, let's try this. Let's go halfway up, and then um, move the scrubber a little bit, and then let's go down again, like that, and then move the scrubber again, and then let's go all the way up, like that. Okay, and let <coughs> let's. Let's hold that for a second. So all I'm going to do is move the scrubber a little bit, and then remember, little trick is if I want to say the same cop, the same keyframe, I can just click this little thing at the end here. You don't, you never want to turn this off, but I can click it, and it just made a copy of this one to this one, so it stays there a little bit. And then let me go down a little bit more and go through. And I want to set, sit there for a second or two and then scrub it a little bit more and then let's go all the way up. Okay? All right. So what we have is, let me set my workspace here because we have all this empty space. So all I'm going to do is just move it down and now it's only going to loop here to show us. And it's going to take a second. The first time it goes through, sometimes it takes a little while to go at normal speed. Okay, nothing fancy, but you're parenting something. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool, cool little technique. All right. So um, just remember, and again, what I can do is if I want, I can actually grab these keyframes, highlight them all, and then right click and say keyframe assistant, easy ease. Okay, and they kind of turn into our... Our, and it's just a little bit different type of movement. If I don't do that, it's linear. It's linear uh, motion. So it, the the speed goes from point A to point B at the same speed. These kind of round off. If I there's a little graph editor here, and that's what these kind of look like. And I'm always when the in the when you click on the graph editor for keyframes, when I click it, right here, I can choose what kind of graph. The only one, only one, only one I ever use is speed graph. Notice it's checked. Okay? And I can actually go in here. And if I click on one of these dots, see these little handles? I can move the little handles and change the, the movement from point A to point B. something like that and then I can click away from it click off of it and then just check it out it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of fast and weird see yeah and I can move these you know again once I have the keyframes I can move these around you know there's a lot of stuff I can do. Okay, so again, what you want to do is, from this point, this is great, and you can hand in the AEP file. Um, let me save it. And then you're going to have to go from composition to render, add to render queue. And it's always the last one. Now, this is kind of weird because it's difficult to see, but I'm going to go right here. And you want to save it, I think, in a temporary file folder. Um, it's a little weird 
working on the the um, Adobe product streaming, but um, we can go over that today. Um, so I'm going to save it. It's going to make a movie. And all I have to do is it's all set to go. I like to click here to make sure I'm saving it where I, where I think it's saving. I'll put it on desktop. And then I'll render it. And the rendering will basically make a movie of it. Okay? There you go. So that's a, a little bit more advanced. Thanks.